I'm Pita and welcome back to my channel. So today is an amazing day guys. I'm so excited and I really appreciate you guys for tuning in week after week. You guys don't know what that means to me. I really appreciate it. Week after week you guys come on and you provide me with amazing um, feedback on my channel and that does not go unnoticed okay. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the cancer reading. All right. So we, we get, we've been on the move, you guys. Like this new energy is just amazing, right? Because this new energy is so amazing. Like everybody has just been receiving some amazing, positive readings. Things have just appeared to be going well for a lot of people, you know? And so I'm just so excited of where we're all headed. Spirit souls. I'm really excited about where we're all headed. Yes. All right. So, cancers. Let's talk, cancers. All right. Let's see. Let's talk. What does the ancestor have for the cancers? Ancestors, what do you guys have for cancers this week? What do you guys have for cancers this week? Ooh, let's see. All right, cancers. Let's see. And the eagle says, see from a higher perspective. So, so what that's saying to, to me is um, you have to see from beyond your own um, ideas. You have to see past that. A lot of times we get, you know, restricted in our ideas and our way of thinking. And we can't see anyone else's perspective or we can't see past our current situation. So what they're telling you is to soar high and see past that perspective. See it from a different perspective at a higher level. Um, you guys know what it is that you need to be doing, but you guys are still maintaining maintaining the same position. When you should you shouldn't be looking at it from here, you should be looking at it from here. So, Cancer, you guys got to get out of your way. You're meant to soar like an eagle, so you have to think above the standard way of thinking. Okay, so you guys have to. You guys have to change your way of thinking a little bit because there's so much that the universe has for you. And because you're stuck in your way of thinking, you may prevent yourself from getting it. If you just come out of that, if you just come out of that just, just for a moment, you'll see how things will turn and it'll stop. You'll stop receiving uh, the things that you don't want and then you'll start receiving the things that you do want but you have to change your way of thinking you have to think at a higher level than what you're currently thinking at because right now you're thinking with limits you're thinking i can do this but what if or i can do this but i'm not sure if i can no you can do this and you have to you're supposed to this is what your ancestors are telling you and they wouldn't lead you astray but you have to get out of this way of thinking okay Next, we have a great teacher right here. So you learn from your spiritual experiences. So here you are. You've learned from so much. Cancer, you guys have been through so much crap. And you've learned from that. And so because you've learned from that, you have what it is that you need in order to move to that next level. Those experiences are what's going to get you there. Because you've been able to um, conquer, you know, so many different situations. And so because you've been able to conquer that, that makes you someone that's a great teacher, someone that people would enjoy listening to, um, someone that people would, you know, respect because of the experiences. But the only person that doubts their ability right now is you, Cancer. So go ahead. You guys got to step out of that box. Release those blockages like we talked about and get out there. Those spiritual experiences you're going through, you're going through your awakening right now, you know, and the ancestors are guiding you. They're, they're giving you all the signs. I'm talking about all the signs that you can think about. Um, you're getting the synchronicities. You're seeing the full moons. You're, I mean, you're, you're feeling the different vibes. You haven't, you've been feeling content, you know, and, no, and though the universe is just giving you all of this, you still have doubt. Cancer, cancer, come out of this energy. 
Okay, come out of this energy. Step into your true power, Cancer, before the universe takes it all away. Because as they give, they can take away. And so you need to listen to your ancestors and start moving in a direction that's going to put you in a position to win. Whether you have to do more affirmations. I know it sounds silly at first, but getting up, affirming yourself, listen to meditation music, meditating at least five, ten minutes. It, it just starts your day. It starts your day and ends your night so well. So you guys... Please, please, please get out of your head. You have what it takes to step into your purpose. You've had so many experiences that's, that, that those experiences are going to carry you to the next level. But you have to believe it yourself. And here's your guardian angel. You are not alone. See? Thank you, ancestors. You are not alone. The ancestors are telling you, we're guiding your path. You're not guiding your path. You think you're guiding your path. We're guiding your path. But you also have to accept some responsibility in your path. We are guiding you. We are your guardian angels. You are not alone. So knowing that, we're giving you everything you've desired, everything you asked for. But here you are, you're still in your heads. Come on. They're guiding you. This is divine. It's supposed to happen. Cancers, we need to move on. We need to move on. Time's wasted. You know, the 14th is, the 14th is around the corner. We need to drop all of that extra stuff off, okay? We need to drop it all off and move into your power, all right? Because the ancestors are with you. And here's the spirit fox. Trust your talent. Champ. Oh, sorry. Trust your talents in changing times, all right? Trust your talents, all right? Trust yourself, cancers. You guys have been through so much, and through all of those experiences, through all of that, you learned so many different skills so many new skills so many beneficial skills you've acquired so many different talents because of that and you have to trust those talents you have to trust those talents to get you to the next level okay if you don't trust those talents that's you still thinking staying in your head not changing your perspective being very closed off and you're gonna block your blessings cancer so this is a great reading cancer you guys man as long once you get out of your head, you're going to take those experiences and the answer is going to guide you and it's going to lead you into a purpose that's going to be easy for you. Um, whatever that, whatever your next step is, it's going to be effortless. Like you're just going to, you're just going to know how to do whatever it is that you're doing. All right. But you have, you got some more work to do, Cancer. So I'm going to need you to, Cancer, I'm going to need you to go ahead and fix that real quick. All right. Because... Your ancestors are with you. They're rocking with you, Cancer. Your ancestors are rocking with you, Cancer. Get out of your head, Cancer. Because this is your year. Alright? That's not how catchy. But yeah, this is your year, Cancer. Everything that you desire is right here in front of you, Cancer. Cancer, all you have to do is just step into it. But the only way you're going to step into it is you get out of your head. And the only way you're going to get out of your head is if you trust your experiences and you trust your ancestors that your experiences and your ancestors will not lead you astray. Okay? Okay. What do we have to clarify? So, say memories of love. Now, what this means is that blockage, whatever that blockage is, it's got something to do with something in the past. Maybe somebody, maybe when you were younger, someone told you what you couldn't do. And you're starting to believe that. And it's, it's stuck in your brain, you know. And no matter how much you move forward, this is still stuck in your brain. But I'm telling you, you need to let that go. You need to let that go. That is old news. That is no longer who you are, Cancer. And those memories... It's just a breeze in the wind, you know, and maybe, maybe this is signifying an offering from someone you love. Um, maybe someone loves you and they're going to come and assist you in getting out of this. Yeah, this may be a new love offering right here, Cancer. If it's not something from the past holding you back, it's a new love offering and someone is coming to bring you a gift to help you get out of your head. 
to help you see it from a different perspective, to allow you to use those experiences. And you're going to have to trust them too. You're going to have to trust them and trust your talents in order for you to receive what the ancestors have for you. So Kansas, you guys got a little bit more work to do, but this still is an awesome reading. I see someone coming in. Someone coming in. Maybe someone you already knew with a love offering or some things that you need to rid yourself of from the past. Um, but other than that, you guys got it going on, Cancer. You just got that little bit of work. You just got to get out of your head, okay? So I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, this has been an amazing week. I hope you guys are feeling that same energy that I'm feeling. If you like what you heard here, go ahead and hit like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you, Spirit Souls. I really appreciate you guys, and thank you for listening to Soul Talk.